Microphones and Monsters is a creative type of production. Special thanks to Mead and Patrick T. Arsenal, our executive producer level supporters from Patreon. Imagine a place where ancient secrets and unnatural horrors lie dormant. A place where the veil between worlds is thin and the creatures of the night roam free. On microphones and monsters, a ragtag crew of travelers sets sail for one such destination. But beware, dear listener, for the horrors of Fazin are not for the faint of heart. What are you doing? I... That was... Where did he come from? Why did... I thought the ghouls were supposed to be... Uh... Look at me. This is a lesson, little girl. I... I, I just... I, I, if you're not up for killing, don't pretend to be a killer. You attack, you kill. There is no other option. I, I, I'm not a killer. I'm just, just trying to protect my friends. I, 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 I don't, I don't, I don't know what's going on. Um, uh, I'll go back to the ghoul. Does the ghoul have anything on him? Any no. identifying information or valuables? No. Okay. I'm still underneath Lucius. I'm a little freaked out. Marceline, are you okay? It yeah. looked like something happened to your arm. I'm I'm okay. He just he but he bit me a little, but I I think I'm okay. Oh well, is, is anyone else hurt? Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm fine. How long, <laughs> how, long, how long do those temporary hit points last? Uh, they last until you rest or they're consumed, basically. Okay. I will... Or, or or you have a different source of, of temporary hit points. Like, they overwrite, basically. I will... Where did the... Where did the, the, the ghoul take a chunk out of me? He, he slashed at your legs. That's the only time he the legs. you. Yeah. He the, healed the, you already after that. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Well, what I'm saying more so is is where the wound was, you'll see that weird shifting uh, fur and skin kind of start to, you know, close the wound back in place. But it, it, it doesn't it looks like it looks like my my skin isn't really reacting like as as I am, like I think like the skin is acting on its own kind of way. Think of like a like the how the the symbiote works with venom, where it yeah. kind of like moves kind of independently, unnatural to my own motion, as yeah. it's like you know closing this up. Well, oh, good. Oh, I was just saying, uh, with the with the ghoul not having anything, the only thing that he's wearing is like a, a loincloth kind of kind of thing. So he doesn't yeah, even have it. like clothes. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I take so the loin cloth. <laughs> it's mine now. Uh, Lucius no, is going to go ahead and cast a uh, cure wounds on Isadeth. Okay. E for six HP. Awesome. But we also have the four healing potions that what's his name gave us too. Just so everyone remembers, he gave us um, one for everyone. Yeah, so it'll be six HP and then three temp HP. Oh, nice. Make the vines grow back. Yeah, I was gonna say you'll see kind of like some of the plant life on her start to kind of intertwine over the wound, and you'll see like little little buds kind of blooming <laughs> since it's new growth. And and as the the healing's going on, you'll also say, I also overheard a little bit of what Barnabas was saying, and don't worry about him. You know he's always been a bit rough around the edges. You just do whatever you're comfortable with. Yeah, it's okay. I just, I didn't want him to hurt you guys. I don't want to kill anyone, but I also don't want you guys to get hurt. Yes, we all do what we must. She's going to pull the hood of her little shawl up over her head because she's just, she wants to be unseen right now. 
Lucius, I found this bottle in the pile before he attacked. Mr. Mouse, can you show it to him? And then Mr. Mouse is going to pop out with holding the little bottle. And be like, do you know what this is? Uh, Lucius will, will uh, take the bottle and, and take a good look at it. If you need any kind of rolls. Uh, yeah. I mean, you could you could take a roll or you could take a sip. <laughs> Don't take a sip. <laughs> one of those is risky and mm-hmm. one of them not so risky. I, I kind of want to take the roll first. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, hmm, I guess Arcana. Arcana. Uh, total 20. Okay. It's nice. a potion of climbing. You know, by the, by the way... The marbling is, the the coloring of it. Huh. Well, uh, it appears this is a potion of climbing. It it makes you better at climbing. <laughs> yeah, it gives you a uh, one hour of advantage on strength athletics checks that you make to climb. <laughs> Has to be used to climb. Otherwise, it wouldn't be a potion of climbing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's really cool. Did you want it? Oh, you gain well, a climbing speed equal to your walking speed, too. Oh, nice. Well, I don't suppose I have much need for it right now, but you never know what may come up, and I'm sure somebody may find it useful. Okay, I'll hold it if you don't want to. <laughs> he, he, he'll uh, go ahead and like, like hand it back to you then. <laughs> okay. I, I don't know how well I could use it. That's what I was thinking. Someone can use it and then hold me I mean, and climb. You, you have a climbing speed as a cat, I think. Do I? I, 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 was I mean, looking, you got claws. Sure, yeah, I'm sure you do. Claws. I'm, I'm pretty sure Possibly. that's what we had determined was that cats have climbing speed. Oh, yeah. Speed. I, have a, I have a climbing speed of 30 feet. So I don't need to expend extra movement to climb. So it's not really helpful to me. <laughs> We're offered to carry it. You can just pack mule it until one of us. You're much it. larger. It's, I mean, it's a tiny little potion vial. I don't. I don't. I don't think it really takes. It. It's, it really weighs yeah. anything. It's negligible. So <laughs> yeah, it's point five. Well, you oh, offered okay. to carry it, so he handed it back to you. Yeah. There you go. Okay. All right. If I get too heavy, I might. I might offload on you guys. Then. <laughs> yeah. Just start off in your uh, offloading your. Your inventory. I think to I people. can hold a diamond earring. Yeah. But <laughs> I think you should wear the diamond earring, but that's just me. <laughs> I, w- I want to say that y'all were having these little conversations as you're walking away and down the, the tube. So the steadily rising tunnel lets out into an intersection of three paths. The north passageway quickly becomes impassable due to a cave in. The southern switchback leads to a larger opening, partially blocked by a crumbling wall and the passage to your left is narrow and winding so in front of you to the north cave in you can't go that way to the east of you to the to the right are you kind of behind you a little bit now big big open cavern and then you got a narrow winding path to your left fear not brave listeners this is just a brief interruption for some necessary financial lubrication Want to keep the Eminem adventure rolling? Ad-free episodes, bonus content, and even uncut Eminem sessions are just a click away at patreon.com slash creative typo. Stick around after the episode for a glimpse into another creative typo show. Choices. Mm-hmm. Open or narrow? Oh, <laughs> I'll follow you. I think we should take the the more winding path. I'm afraid if we go in another big open space, there's going to be more terrible things. Well, I, I suppose that is a, a pretty smart approach. If we take the narrower path, it would be harder to approach us, less angles that they could make their attack from. I disagree. If we're boxed in, that leaves us for very little movement in case there are traps or ambushes. If we go this way, though, there's there's only one direction they can come from. The bigger space, there there could be things lurking in all the corners. Again, the danger you know versus the danger you do not. Is it? Do not gonna school ba- me on warfare, little one. <laughs> Is it I've been gonna... doing this for a long time. She's just gonna oh. back up <laughs> from, from <laughs> Zareth. <Zerith. laughs> mm-hmm. If you get closer and you 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 start inspecting. What that 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 crumbling wall? Mm-hmm. Um, so right away, you see this and you see something familiar, because this 
the demolished wall at the at the southern portion of the room is re- what remains of a failed attempt by a group of lost sailors to defend themselves and you you can you can piece all this together with everything going on they were trying to defend themselves from the horrors of the of, of the tubes like stuff coming at them attacking you can see that this is a dead end once you get further in you see mm-hmm. further around the cavern and uh, they were very unsuccessful and littered among the rubble are their crumbling gnawed up bones. That's on the narrow path, right? That is the path you wanted to go. Okay. Get wrecked, nerd. <laughs> but you're able to put that together once you once you get closer and, and, and can look at it. Well, the choice has been made for us. There is no way on this end, it looks like. Another group of unfortunates met their demise here. We'll proceed with the narrow passage. Is the death will go ahead and start that direction. Move! And I'll push you out of the way and lead on. <laughs> and right away, you can already tell that this is a maze-like network of tunnels. Oh, good. And it's confusing. The tunnels are You're narrow. Confusing. Um, with numerous elevation changes and switchbacks as, as you're you're trying to get through it. So... Give me survival checks. Or the, who's who's leading? Who's leading? Me. Okay, Zareth. It sounds like Zareth. <laughs> Give me. Uh, I dare one of you not to lead in front of me. Uh, give me a survival check. All right. Is it just him? I'm. Yeah, and I'm right behind him. And do you have dark vision? You have dark vision, don't you? I do have dark vision. Okay. Every, yes. Everybody does except for Isadeth. Yep. Yeah. Is her is her pack just going to stay lit up until you end it, or how long does that? Look? So, so the duration is one hour, but it's also a cantrip, so I can just recast it. Okay. Are, are you are um, you going to recast it every hour? At this uh, point, that, that's my intention. Like, okay. I mean, okay. I, I don't like unless something changes. Like, my intention is just to refresh your light whenever it goes out, basically. Okay. Uh, the survival or, check was or, a fourteen. Or if, or if we're getting really close to an, an hour, like maybe I'll go ahead and do it just to be safe. It's been about an hour. Uh, you are successful, and you're able to pick out the path really easily. Like, you're very confident that you are taking the right direction. Well, he would be regardless. <laughs> <laughs> can't convince me otherwise. I'm going the right way. Follow our fearless leader. As you're about, like, as you've made a few turns now, you're hearing something just echoing, and it seems to be just echoing from... From all directions, like every turn seems to be, it sounds kind of like a like a scraping, walking kind of sound. I'll raise my hand for everybody to stop. Assuming everyone knows what that is, because I just am assuming <laughs> everyone knows that means stop. Rufus might not see your hand from down <laughs> near everyone's feet. Right, is it so death is, stop when people's feet stop. Is it death is at your waist level and like bumps into the back of you. <laughs> she can't see your hand all the way up there. Uh, is, well, can I tell where the sound is coming from? It's just kind of, it's just echoing. What's happening, Zerithin? Why are we stopped? Shh. Do you not hear that? Do I hear it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Everybody hears it. I think I'm trying to find it again. I feel like I had an advantage with perception having to do with yep, sight. Here, sight or smell. Okay. Yeah. And I've got smell. And neither of those are sound. Oh. <laughs> I couldn't remember what my second was. I knew it was sight and something. I can't eat my my pickled eyeball either that's sight as well that is sight yeah i i mean right. i don't know can can we roll a check to see if we recognize what the sound might be it sounds like something scraping and walking like scraping oh. on the ground and, and footsteps okay but give me another survival check zarathon sure well if we're all stopped and paying attention and pretty much in the same spot He's, he's is it still just him doing the check. Not so good. Sure. That is a I've never done seven. a dungeon crawl before. I don't know. What did you say? What was your roll? Seven. Seven. Okay. The 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 echo just kind of it's distracting you from from the path that that navigating navigating this maze. But mm-hmm. the the noise stops and just just stops suddenly and and you continue walking thinking you're going the right way you're very confident you're letting everybody know with hand signals like you're being quiet but you turn and there's a mist on this turn and the mist forms itself into a vaguely humanoid shape 
stretched into an impossibly gangly parody of an emaciated human. Okay. Sucks to be you. <laughs> and roll for initiative. Okay. Well, at least I have advantage on this. <laughs> uh, nine. Fifteen, or eighteen. Two. Twelve. Who had fifteen? I accidentally said fifteen. I have eighteen. Oh. Yeah. Who had a two? Me. I had a two. Rolled a one. And Lucius. And Lucius has a twelve. And the unman. 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 Un <laughs> <laughs> what? That's not a thing. <laughs> it's definitely not a man. <laughs> he rolled better than me. That's not fair. And oh, we got Rufus <laughs> going first again. Okay. I think Rufus goes first so, all the time. <laughs> something, I've got a something plus advantage five. in high decks. <laughs> yeah. I, I have advantage uh, on initiative rolls, and I have a plus five on initiative rolls. <laughs> so, okay. I, hold up. This this die hasn't been doing well. Um, I'll I'll roll with this one. Uh, and I'll I'll just like you know I'm sort of underfoot of everyone. We're kind of standing in a group, I imagine, like in this tunnel. And yeah, so I mean you're you're you're, you're front. marching order, Zarathin up front, and then mm -hmm. however y'all want to be in marching order. Well, I can occupy the same space as other people, so I I'm just underneath underfoot anyway. You're just underfoot all. The I'm just underfoot all the time. You're within how not. You're within distance. Yeah. It doesn't matter distance. I, I'm within right attack now. range of this thing. <laughs> yes, yes, you are. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> All right, that is a... What do I have? I haven't rolled an attack in a while. <laughs> 18 to hit on this thing. Eight. And, uh, 18 does not hit. 18 oh. doesn't hit. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> so I, I just sort of jump at it, and I try to slash at it, and something happens. I don't know. I missed, you know. It just kind of like when you slash at it, it just kind of just like mist. It goes misty. Of course it does. <laughs> yeah. just, I don't, don't. You're a melee character. Too bad. Okay. <laughs> so in that case, I'm gonna be like, what? <laughs> and I'm just gonna run <laughs> and underneath Zarathin's legs and, and oh, embrace, I'm sorry. I was myself. looking at the wrong thing. You did hit. I'm. I am so sorry. I did hit. Rewind. <laughs> yeah. I was, okay. Good. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yay, I hit him. I was, I was okay, looking at the wrong thing. Eighteen to hit. I am so sorry. Eighteen to hit. Eighteen so hits. That hits. Okay. Yeah. Well, then I am going to do eight slashing damage on him. Plus, I believe. Let's see here. I don't need advantage on the attack roll if another enemy of the target is within five feet of it. Are they within five feet? Is he within five feet of Zarathin? No, he's no. not. Yeah, because no. I was leading up oh. front. Yeah, but you weren't right yeah. on top of it. Yeah, you went to stop. Okay, like it's, it's oh, okay. like you had oh, to move you ran, to oh, it. You ran, you ran up to him. Okay, never mind. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I didn't know how far I ran up to him. I thought it. Oh, no, you're the only one face. within within five feet of it. Okay. Okay. Well, cool. Then I am going to disengage and run back underneath Zarathin and is my bonus action. Okay. Your your uncanny actions. <laughs> it's a cunning action, actually. Oh. But okay. yeah. Let me use my bonus action to run back under Zarathin and be like, you can hit him if you want. <laughs> 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 I was going to get to use sneak attack and everything, and he just wasn't close enough. I'm never going to use sneak attack the entire campaign. <laughs> Don't think you used it before. No, I forgot. Oh. I could have used it before, and I didn't, because I was a fool. <laughs> I've got special dice for it and everything. Well, you're on, the, you're on the wrong show, then. This is for morons, not fools. <laughs> <laughs> but he thought, surely I'll have other opportunities. <laughs> mm. <Yeah>. So, <laughs> because you just tried to attack this thing. It's going for you. I did Rufus. attack it, sir. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, he's gonna it he's gonna he's gonna just like kinda shamble up with a little squiggly dude just coming all up on you and he gets within ten feet and he reaches because you're I've got half cover under Zarathin. You have half cover cover does half cover do anything against melee? Let me Hold double on. check. Yeah yeah it's melee. No. And cover's only for ranged yeah, this is this is melee. It's ten feet away, but it's a it melee. Is, it, it is uh, a plus two bonus to AC. Oh, it is. Oh shit! 
that, that's what I'm saying is just a target has half cover with half cover has a plus two bonus to AC and dexterity saving throws. Yep, yep. Okay. Plus two to AC. So. Okay. That is a 17 to hit. Uh, that misses. My AC is 18 with plus two. Ooh. Yeah. He, he just so like, I just like, he just stretched yeah. his arms trying to reach for you around Zarathan's feet. And uh, he's like fumbling around like Zarathan's feet trying to get you and you're, you're just dodging him. Yep. <laughs> no, no, get away from me. He's like, <laughs> no. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. <laughs> and that's that's all he does. That is, that is he it. wiggles at you. <laughs> he scoots wiggle, up wiggle, and, wiggle. and waves around Zarathan's feet, trying to catch a cat. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you really put it into perspective like that, <laughs> it is a little weird. <laughs> Next time on Microphones and Monsters. It's like, Jonathan, it doesn't look like it hurt him. I'm going to swing again. Don't tell me how to live my life. Well, I, I didn't really want to have to do something like this again. I definitely don't miss these days. Hi, I'm Emily, and I'm an anomaly, chaos incarnate. And I might be the cause of the end of humanity. Listen to Isfet Archives, a creative typo production, wherever you get your podcasts, and follow along as my friends and I try to save the world from, well, me.